close them all, but whatever. Actually, it's gonna have to be. If I get over here. Yeah. Okay, let me see what you look like. Sorry. Thank you for tuning in with Enchantress. That's me, the Baba. That's me on this evolutionary, revolutionary ride. Seven of Fires at this time. Welcome to the in between. One card already flew out when I was shuffling and adjusting. I hit record much faster this time around. And then one fell as I was sitting here quietly when I hit record. So you have death and entering, bridging into temperance. Then you have the eight of cups going into the nine of cups here. Hey, my dears. This... transitioning period of self-reliance but in every department right like the death of you know just even you got the page of wands going into the knight of wands here student graduating you know standing on your own fulfilled you know having had gone through look at this is like the phoenix rising i can't know you can't see but here you see the phoenix and then look at that that looks like an angel on the clouds right even above that phoenix rising blessed are we to transition protected guided aligned with the divine this resurrection oh so fine that we are refined the eight always a challenge you see yeah there was a challenge but we got through you see self-sufficient is me graduating with honors passionate by far oh yes beautiful patience we had to learn this release of whatever has created the pouty the pouty the disappointment maybe you see because there's been so much disappointment with so many things, so many different levelings, and then having to transition through these difficult moments, too, that we must heal, right? Feel, deal, bridge, go through, wide, eyes wide open, celebrating. Because successful, abundant, appreciative, grateful, at peace is me to develop so eloquently in such fashion, you see. Because <laughs> why not? I will not conform or be something that is not me, you see, even though different is I. Authentic to myself, I rise, even if I have to be at it alone, full grown, whole. The counterpart that's going to be for me, the partner you see that's going to be for me on this life path that you choose. If so, you choose. You know so to be. Like, so many have had to come to the realization, too, of, you know, that solidarity that, hey, maybe I want something more than that, too. Having to admit something like that to self. That too has been 
quite the development for some. So many have been doing it on their own for so long. Having to admit to oneself that, hey, hey, maybe, maybe I want love, moment on these lines. Maybe I can try to believe that there can be something like that for me, but then you gotta go into that deep, because that's another leveling, unspoken, and conditioning. We are woken to, <laughs> there's no hocus pocus there. We have to be clear. It's not difficult. Oh, but it can be challenging to learn discernment. Oh, I have been through so many of things. But graduate is me, I think, you know, to be able to see all oh, my discerning quality that is <sighs> skilled. If you want to ask me, you know what I mean? I smell it a mile away. What can I say? I've been going at it for a very long day. But learning the temperance is the way. Time, this masterful illusion. And yet we're racing against the clock. Racing against the clock. And it's like tick tock, tick tock. No, no more. You see, surrendering. What boundaries now need to be created or strengthened within my own self? and relationships too. That is cute, send that to me please. Mm. Thank you. But yeah, so. I'm gonna read the in between from this oh, book no. too, you see. She, she's following you. Go ahead, go. And so. <laughs> Okay, excuse the distraction, for that happens in life, and so you have to just breathe in temperance, patience, and just allow it to pass through, because that is just how we do all the things that we do. It is always a conscious effort and choice, how we choose to engage and behave, and that's just the way that it is. What can I say? <laughs> I was gonna find Paige. <laughs> Here we go. So we adapt to temperance. Okay. 10, 13, 13, 13. I love that number. 13, 13. Also 4. I love that number. 4. I was born on a day 4. Okay. 4, 4, 4. Building a foundation. Solid foundation. Ooh. Andromeda's looking at me like I'm another planet. You see. Okay. So. Yeah, so we have four, the building of many things. It reminds me of the tower development. The tower comes and, cr and crumbles and falls, and it's like, no! What's if you're resisting it, but if you get it from the most highest octave of perspective of yourself, then you would know to be like, oh, all this is going to happen anyways, because, you know, you didn't take part in getting it to start and so the universe comes in and it's just like here you go my friend you got to know that this is not a joke and so death though is personal because we have death i think it's ruled by pluto scorpio energy which is deep emotional realms is where we go and creep so death to the mask of illusion of whatever has been worn or shown or created up until this point of revelation of epiphany of knowing of oh this makes sense you see deep is me scorpionic deep ocean sting whoa <laughs> so we know death Although it might be slow, it's painful. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, right. So, to go into that department, which was probably a stalemate for ourselves up until this point of stimulation, of vibration, frequency, of some kind of trigger or activation of whatever catalyst emerging that creates this need for our purging, that death cycle that must come, we know it's not <laughs> always fun, but, you know, what are we going to do, life on the run? So, you know, we surrender that, like, hangman kind of state of surrender to, all right, I let go this time, no longer do I want to rule this when I don't even know this, so you just learn this, you know, and then you realize you knew this, always, and you know, and then whatever, because previous even just to the death state, you had the hang mind state, right, so, now you have death to temperance here, transformation, res resurrection, balance and alchemy in between concept renewal of purpose that's where you are it's just like that tumbling of the tower because it was be it was built off of false or um wicked foundations or foundations that were not what they should be now like a lie facade bullshit you know and so of course you gotta put an end to the facade to the lie to the mask to the bullshit <laughs> the dead fool has now been removed from the card physically from the ashes of the hillside where he was sacrificed arises a glowing phoenix the phoenix rising from the ashes represents the emergence of a new sense of purpose which will propel us forward on to a different life path. This path has not yet been properly defined, yet for now the image of the phoenix, phoenix is reflected upon the calm waters of the lake. The correspondence for death is that of Scorpio, the astrological water sign for transformative energy. Okay. This is moving across to the fiery energy of Sagittarius, which is the correspondence for temperance. The figure of temperance can be seen in the gathering clouds of this card pouring water from one cup to the other cup, mixing the elements of water and fire, creating something new. Here we go, this epiphany too. The creating of something new from scorpionic energy into that temperance energy. If you watched any of my other videos, then you would know when I was talking about that, even just for myself, like being born from that Vedic astrology, Western astrology um, point of transition, of like what would you call that kind of element um, from water into fire that would be lava, it's volcanic, it's going to erupt that passion. That's what's up. And then right now we got that Aries, Taurian energy, bull kind of um ram like you know energy although masculine and feminine too with the taurian energy but you know like these are our energetic influences now and so like <clears throat> the mixing of this now and just the alchemy of us at this time it's coming into our own it's time to celebrate that too no matter what's going on externally from us like ce the celebration of your own success to where you are at this point in time it's beautiful you know so in the buddhist religion reincarnation is the belief that we are born anew in a different life after we die each new life signals a new beginning and presents the chance to renew our purpose 
you know? Maybe what once before was believed to be something and a new path emerges for you to see. And maybe you may not know clearly what the path is, but it's just like, you know what? I got this. I don't need to know what this is, but I do know what this is not. I know what I want to create and the old me I have to put to rest, you see, because I want to emerge and evolve and be the all that I can be in that kind of department and for each of us it's going to be different whether it's freedom and whether it's you know career whether it's love whether it's all of the above like you know um it's gonna be no and being open to that that's a graduation a celebration because not many people break through it because they usually go back and conform and comply to the energies that are dominating nearby and telling them this is how you live your life and you're like mm -mm, nice try you know I'm learning me and when I learn me and I know me I can't do me wrong that's why they say ignorance is bliss until you know better you do better and when you know better and you don't do better, it's just like, whoa, you got to endure that weather? You can do better. Right. So each of us has lessons to learn and parts of our life that we would possibly change if we could. For reals, even me believes. Okay. This in-between stage shows how we need to let go of the outdated parts of our lives that have outworn their existence in order to balance our books and move across into the cleansing energy of temperance. Figuratively, we need to die in order to be reborn. In this sense, we feel like that phoenix rising up, reborn, reinvigorated. Maybe that's the part you're in now. Crossing that bridge and maybe you're midway on the bridge and you're just like looking back and you're just like, wait a minute, I could change my mind. I want to at this time, but oh, let me see, what do I have to lose if I just keep going over here, I know this back here I don't want, how do I stand to go, to be so free, to be so daring, to just leap, you know what I mean, then we got the eight of cups speaking into the nine of cups energy, right, so we're gonna go look at that from here at this time, and see, how beautiful you should feel about the steps you have taken to be true to yourself no matter what that is and even if it disappoints a hell of a lot of people oh freaking well what the hell you have to live for you you know these are the things you have to do sometimes you have to go at it alone and I say that emotionally just because you know that'd be me on the boat by myself you see <laughs> so I get it I know you know but you have something to be proud of moving on up energetically with your frequencies you know how many Wonderful, abundant things come to your energy that you magnify towards you at this time. When you live that kind of majestic line, adhering to yourself this time, no need to apologize. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this not my life? Let me row, row, row. Row, row, row. You know? And fish. <laughs> if that's what it is. And don't be upset, even if, you know, you feel like you'll disappoint others at this time. It's not about them. It's about you. We have connections with people, too. We can share on our journey. And if someone wants to be stubborn and not embrace, you know, true friendship at its own space, then that's something that, you know, you have to accept. But there's much to be celebrated now. See, you're going from loss to movement. Contentment, wishes granted. Reflection and presentism. 
The woman is now on her own in a canoe floating down the river. Row, 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 your boat, your canoe. She is catching fish and is watching her reflection in the water. She still feels a sense of loss, but the pain and angst is now a dull ebb and no longer as hurtful as it once was. Now she is able to think a bit clearer with time to reflect. As the canoe moves slowly downriver, this card shows the movement away from trouble to happiness at just being alone and present with her own company. Who better to enjoy your own company than you? That's what I say all the time too. I be like, I'm my own greatest company. I make myself laugh all the time. I don't need company. I got plenty of personalities of my own. Or, you know what I mean? Connecting, you know what I mean? We're never alone, it's no matter what it appears to be. You know, who needs drugs? I got me. <laughs> so, you see what I mean? But it's not as bad as it seems. It's about accepting yourself, the beautiful soul that you are. Because if not who, if not you. And you are responsible for you and how you treat you is the blueprint of what you are to receive from the externals. You know what I mean? Because people learn from you by what they see. How is it that you're going to treat me? Oh, you best believe you better adhere to what I see and not goodbye. You know what I mean? Jelly beans. I know it's not easy righteous in your own riot act that's a fact at peace you see and i'm gonna allow for no toxicity to be next to me after all the work i've done to remove this and it wasn't fun <sighs> but i've crossed that bridge yes I rode my boat. I died a gruesome death. What the hell? I'm fishing again. I'm celebrating. Woo! Toss my heart up in the air. Mm hmm. Know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. The sun shines brightly onto the water and reminds her that it is helpful to have this life to be still and think about her next moves. Woo. We're going to celebrate too. Mm -hmm. Page of Wands, Spiral. Page of Wands into the Night of, of Wands. Inspiration, enthusiasm, adventure, inspired action. Prepare for takeoff. Yes. Woo! The Page of Wands is standing in the doorway of an old university building. Goodbye. <laughs> no longer do I participate in that kind of a life of a blueprint that's not mine. Mm -mm, I see. Oh, but yes, I have learned so many things at the university. Don't get me wrong. I am not polluting. But it's my revolution. My graduation. And so now I take what I know. And I do what I do best. I align with me. And I'm taking off, you see. Ooh, a new territory. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. There's no way about it. from here, especially our dad at the university. And many a times. Graduate as I. Hey. The Page of Wands is standing in the doorway of an old university building. She has her graduation cap and gown and gown on as it as it is her graduation ceremony. This card marks the transition from fiery ambition in childhood to adulthood. There we go. The transition from page of wands to knight of wands is one of full of fiery enthusiasm as to where life will take them next. There is, however, an element of instability as one climbs into the shoes of the knight, whereas the decisions the page has made have been more defined. The Decisions of the night are a bit more chaotic. In this in-between stage, you would feel a rush of energy as life begins to pick up speed and gains momentum. It is definitely not a stage for the faint-hearted. Okay, so yeah, there's like an adrenaline rush right now because you're like, whoa, the sparks, here we go. Like, all right, I'm on to the next thing. 
and I'm doing my thing. All right, you know, strength is what I need. And options is what I have, right? Votes for women. Strength. Permit. Two of cups. I mean, two of coins, but I said two of cups, you know, everything comes out for a reason. So two of cups and two of coins, joining four for building foundations with another partnering, new career aspects, new um, love opportunities, new possibilities for so many things, even for yourself, the adventures that you um, can find yourself in when you align with yourself that's for your ultimate win to do only that in which is in alignment with you that's just speaking ultimate truth you're just going to magnetize that everything that is in that energy align in that kind of vibe to you at this time because charismatic is you the fool leaping into the magician because you have everything that you need all the tools that you need the magician has all the aces all the aces, every single thing that he needs, every tool that he needs to get to, to get what he wants, to create what he wants. Magical. Ooh, and divine. The fool and the magician combined to surrender in that kind of way, to leap. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful. Adventure, innocence, will, skill, purpose, a leap of faith into the unknown. As the fool leaps off the cliff into the unknown, we can see the bright sunshine illuminating the wings of his micro light, his chosen mode of flight. Our view is from the underside and we can see that he lets go of his knapsack, representing his worldly possessions, experience, the ego, and is reaching for the blindfold he is about to remove. He will be taking nothing else with him on his journey other than a sense of imagination. The key element for this card is that of air, the fool, mixing with the communicative energy of planet Mercury, the magician. In the background of the card can be seen the challenges and spiritual heights um, represented by the mountains. The in-between stage of the fool and the magician is no mean feat and combines that sense of free fall where you can feel all of the excitement and build up of energy in the very pit of your stomach. It takes a lot of guts to jump into the abyss. Woo! You can feel this, huh? It's just like, you're, woo! It's like, maybe it's like, you know, me because I'm a romantic, you know, at heart. You see, it's like seeing the love of your life and you're just like, woo! she's looking mighty nice or he's looking mighty nice and you see right mm -hmm. i can combine divine masculine divine ma feminine energies you know we can use our imagination to the best for ourselves you see because poet is me anyways you see so to be able to see and then have your heart beat like that's scary right or butterflies in your stomach to take off anyways because you're in it right you have all the tools you need, everything that you need to just believe in so many things, right? So, <laughs> so the in-between stage of the fool and the magician is so me All right, it's not right. Blah, 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 blah. It takes a lot of guts to jump into the abyss. This card concept is akin to a leap of faith. The energy of the magician awaits the fool. Soon he will be presented with the elements he needs to propel forward on his journey. He has made his ascent and his faithful companion watches him from the cliff where one day he will eventually return. Major cards will always represent deep life experiences and this is one of the most important ones. Consider Alice's descent into Wonderland. Once that leap has been made, then often there is no turning back. For better or for worse. So make your decision to jump for all the right reasons and the tools you will pick up in the Magician card will be all the shinier and more important, potent for it, for what you want. And then I got these, your sacred wealth code oracle cards. So I'm just going to see what can add to this message that we are receiving at this time. This rising of the phoenix. You know, I still like Amr Khan's um, description of 
the rising of the phoenix no more like that because that's coming out and you can still repeat that but the evolution of that death of a death of a transformation is now acting in wisdom not repeating or having a possible question mark that the phoenix rises and repeats the same mistakes as he did in his last life no 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 it's this evolution time all right because you have yes yeah, suffered you have lost you have had challenges you've had to let go of things but you do rise and you're majestic alive you are a graduate at this time and you are taking a leap of faith and you are diving into a unknown territory that is, ooh, it's a scary. But you know, ooh, the muse, okay? The muse that amuses, I inspire, I am inspired, intuitive, inspired, idealistic, creative, that's you, yes it is. Divinely connected, passionate, emotional, and sensitive, the muse, you inspire. You inspire, I say it too, affirmation, I inspire and I am inspired. Yes, you are. Thank you for tuning in with me. I appreciate each and every one you see. Thank you so much. When you hit the like, when you subscribe to at this time, that also connects your energy and mine. And that's just the facts of life because no longer will I give extra out there without any kind of living reciprocity. You know what I mean? But if you did like this, that's great. You can um, like, comment, share, subscribe. And maybe you have some questions for me at this time. Or you can check me out too on my other social media platforms. <laughs> just kidding. I was just looking at everything and I'm just like forgetting what I'm saying. But um, at Enchantress, E-N-C-H-A-N-T-R-E-S-S, that's at Enchantress on Instagram, Enchantress the Bible, the one and only. And then you can check out my blog, my baby, The Mystic Is Me. Oh, I love to write. Oh, yes, I do. So free, The Mystic Is You too. Because if you're channeling and you're tuning in and you're seeing this, The Mystic Is You. Ketu, I am spiritually wealthy, or maybe just that. Spiritually sensitive, unconventional, transcendent, intuitive, introverted, illuminating, artistic, ingenious, intense, imaginative, innovative, revolutionary, rebellious, and mysterious. Yeah, I believe that's you. If you're tuning into me, then we magnetize ourselves to one another, you see, and the teacher. Mm hmm you do got things that you know that is to grow look at to know is to grow knowledgeable intelligent yes you are growth oriented trustable this is trustable understanding communicative um compassionate prosperous yes you are social inspired self-aware yes you are generous considerate and virtuous indeed even if we have done many things that maybe we don't like you know and you can't go back in time for we have had Many things happen to us, you know what I mean? So anyways, that's not where we're going with this because we are growing and are knowing and we're in this in-between state crossing this bridge and here we are, reflective, introspective, evolutionizing and growing. Also, you can, if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me, you can go to my, ooh, you see what I said about that Four of Cups energy? Didn't I combine it before with the Pentacles energy? I said two Pentacles and the whatever, but that it equal, equates to fourness and maybe it's love opening door but four of cups into the five of cups and look at that over here i wonder what that's gonna mean over here my dears if you want to know then i have to go it's 34 minutes or so anyways um you can check me out on my blog and i'm gonna charge this anyways um in not my blog on my website enchantressthebabbler.com all the information will be in the in the description box below if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me make sure to check out the services the plans and also the shop because there's different variations of things for you to choose from you know so I try to make it fair for everyone so that everyone can receive services with me just trust and believe that you will feel great um, depending on wherever we are going to meet on in the services that I do offer in terms of energy work, body work, readings, and channelings, and intuitive guidance and coaching, 
and stuff like that so um more structure friends whatever we do um yeah so you can tune in to that with me and also i have so many things for free on all my different platforms so you know if that's just where we meet then thank you for that too i am very thankful for that um but you know also subscribe because that is how we energetically dance and combine and we can have fun in that kind of way you know what i'm saying folks energy namaste